Yo, what's going on guys? This is Nate Beer and I'm back with a brand new video. Today guys, I am talking about the best controller settings for Apex Legends Season 15. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, comment down below and please subscribe your notifications on that we never miss another one. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this because I don't want to make this too long. So, I'm going to go through every single setting and I'm going to show you exactly what it is and basically what setting I recommend. So, straight away we got Interact Prompt Style. I would have this on Compact. You can have it default, but it's a lot of information. That is just too much for my liking. Have that on Compact. A lot smaller, a lot easier. You can have button hints on if you're new to the game. It means it shows you the exact button as well if you wanted to change something. But I have this off because I can actually, I mean, I know the controls. I've played this game for way too long. Crosshair damage, you can have this on. Um, I have this off because it basically means when I'm shooting something, I don't get a little cross. All I see is the bullets hit. If I wanted to, I could put a cross on it. You might prefer that if you feel like you struggle seeing whether your bullets hit. And then that one would also show you the armor color. So if you don't, you're not very good at noticing what art color the writing is. You see, okay, I can't show you that, but basically, if I was shooting there and it was purple armor, you would see the writing is purple. So it would show you a little purple armor. Rather than having that, I just have that off because I can see the purple armor. Fine, I'm used to it. Uh, damage numbers, I have the stacking. It just means it does some maths for me. I mean, if you want to be, you know floating numbers you can do but i mean nobody i don't know who can work out the mass for that you can have both on by the way um but i would just stick to stacking uh ping optimicity i would have this on faded it just basically means if someone's pinging here, here when you zoom in it's faded won't block your vision at all 100 have this faded or bitter cherries i've definitely said that wrong um basically have this on because this is the kill feed this will show you when somebody has died whether people have traded have this on mini map rotation this means when you turn left to right your map will move with you i like that mini map um it just works pretty well for me you can have that off though if you prefer weapon auto cycle on empty this means as soon as my flatline runs out of ammo let's practice so as soon as my flatline runs out of ammo i've got 20 bullets in the chamber all right I ran out of ammo. It automatically swaps to my 301. Not because my 301 is not because the flatline ran out of ammo, um, like just in the chamber. Left. You'll still stay on your gun if there's ammo left. So don't think it's going to automatically change just because you ran out of bullets. It's only if you've got nothing left at all. Nothing left in your bag. So keep that on. Um, auto sprint, I have this on because it feels absolutely gorgeous, you know. All I have to do is actually push down my left analog stick and I'm running and I'm flowing and it's beautiful. You might prefer it differently, but I really would recommend you save your analog stick doing that. Double sprint, have this off because what's the point if you have an auto sprint on? Jet pack, I've got it on toggle. Basically means I have to double tap A and then I can focus more on my actual rockets. You can have it on toggle, but that does uh, hold, sorry. But that means you just gotta, you gotta hold it. So as soon as I let go of it, it kicks back down. So I like having it toggled because I can focus more on my aim and not have to worry about um, letting go of it. You might prefer having it on hold though. Um, incoming damage feedback, I have this on 3D. Basically means when someone's shooting me, I get a 3D um, dim dimensional arrow indicator. You can have um, it a little bit less if you prefer. I just say I, I find 3D just works well. Um, taking damage, close this death box, have this off. You are silly if you do not have this off because this will kick you out of the death box if you have it on whilst you are looting. So please, for the love of God, have that off because the last thing you want to do is get kicked out of your box as you're armor swapping. Hop up, pop up. This shows you, if I have this on, what the hop up is. So if I swap to my flat line now, you see in the bottom right, you can see that it says trades ammo and fire rate for damage. Um, so if you're not very good with hop ups, maybe you don't know the ones this season, then maybe you have that on. I have it off because I know. Stream mode, this hides the people that kill you, um, kill you. Uh, name. So if I got killed by someone and I didn't want them to get abuse, uh, I can have this off. Uh, sorry, on. Um, that way they do not get seen. Even if I want also to hide people's names in the kill feed, I can put all on. But that is just literally not really needed because sometimes you want to know who kills you. A lot of streamers don't even bother doing that because they like to see who kills them. Now, I'm not anonymous mode. I would have this um, up to you again. Uh, if you're a big streamer, you might want to have it enabled. I have it disabled because I do not give a toss if people know if I'm in their lobby. I do not mind. Um, yeah. Uh, usage sharing, I have this enabled. EA will then just take some data. Hopefully, they'll do something with it and it will work out and it'll do something good for the game. Cross -plat platform play, I have this on because I like playing with PC players. It does not mean I'm going to get automatically matched up with. Um, uh, the PC players, uh, I will mainly be in console lobbies, but if I want to play with them, I need to have this enabled. Uh, performance uh, display, you can have this. Um, 
you can have this sorry uh, on because this then shows the ping on, uh, on the rock top right so i have that on so i it, i'm able to see my performance make sure i'm not lagging and whatnot club VAR invites have that enabled because who, why wouldn't you communication filter i have this for everybody so i can see every time somebody messages if they send a voice message whatnot voice chat whatever I, no point really having it on, but you can do if you prefer. You can have it to nobody if you want. Uh, reticle, I have this on a green colour. That's just my personal preference. I like green. It's quite nice. Uh, you can also change your laser sight. I have mine just on red because that's what it's actually defaulted at. But red's always been one I kind of take laser sight with. So you can have a play around with those two. I would highly say have a play of them. But if you do like the fact that I have a green one, those are the numbers. Enter in the numbers. Go for it. Um, colorblind mode, I have this off. Some people like Tritanopia. Um, it's a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more colourful, um, but I didn't find any real advantage to it, so I have always kept it on, well not always, I always used to, but I've kept it back on, um, off, so I've just got my normal stuff, uh, subtitles, I have this off, uh, you can have that on if you want to, uh, subtitle size, I have this on normal, um, you can have it on huge if you want it, if you can't read very well, maybe your eyesight and you need something a bit bigger, bang that up, um, enabled chat features, I have this off, uh, don't really need this on uh, but you can do it if you prefer again it's, it's stuff that's not really important disable voice chat i have this off um, if i have this on that means it will stop it and i won't be able to hear anybody in voice chat so if you get some toxic people you might want to keep that on um and then the last few bits are basically to stop tax uh chat to text um speech sorry so i have this off so that basically i don't keep getting people spam and stuff in the chat and i keep hearing it so if you play customs and things like that these ones you might want to have off because then you can't hear people absolutely spamming the chat. It's really annoying. Um, then that we've just gone to controller. So we've got button layout. I would highly recommend customize. But you can pick any of these if you prefer. I play with like basically a bumper jumper style. But I customized it. So I have different controls, buttons in different places. So I've got my tack um, is B. I've got my crouch as LB. Um, have what you prefer. Um, you might turn around and say, actually, I want to change that and whatnot. But I like the fact you can change it to what you prefer. So if you play like other games, this is a good idea. Because you can change it to how you want, maybe you, if you play a different game. Um, stick layout, I have that on default. You can have any of the, the four on the, the side there. Uh, what, Southpaw, Legacy, Southpaw. Uh, you might be different to me, but I always have it on uh, default. Uh, tap to reload, definitely have that because it means you can loot quicker. Um, yeah, 100% do that. Uh, you can have... Toggle, I have my, my crouch on toggle, basically means I don't have to hold it. Uh, it does mean I would struggle with bunny hopping, so if you want to be, or spamming crouch. So if you prefer that, then have it on hold. I just always have got better on with toggle, because it does mean when I jump and slide down a hill, I can focus on aiming rather than worrying about my crouch. Um, then we got on here, survival slot, have this on, basically means you can hold down the D-pad and you'll get your heat shield, your res beacon out. If you have this off, you have to go all the way into the menu and go to the survival, survival slot. Too much effort for me, in my opinion, so I have that on. Um, then we got dead zone. Definitely have this off because it means it's it, how sensitive your triggers are. If you have this on high, you're going to have to hit your trigger all the way down for it to actually register anything. So please have this off. It means it's super sensitive. As soon as you hit the button, it will shoot. As soon as it hit it, that have it on. Menu cursor speed. Have this about halfway, maybe a little bit more. Practice it. Don't just think, actually, it's too high for me. No, practice it because this is going to be the sense that will help you armor swap quicker. If you don't have it very high, you're not going to be able to armor swap quickly. You're not going to be able to loot quickly. This is a big thing in Apex. You need to have it quite high because you want to be able to loot quickly. Right, and then the last things we got mainly are sensitivity. Now, I, I basically, I play um, ALCs. If you're an average gamer and you just play now and then, I would highly recommend just keeping to just normal look sensitivity and all this. Just changing it. A lot of people like uh, Free Free um, Classic. I know I know some people have said that to me. Um, I like to use ALCs because I just play this game way too much. And I like to have the most perfect sensitivity for me. So that's all my one. I'm not going to say copy it, but... That is my sense. Um, and then we got on here, movement dead zone. Have this on small. It means as soon as we move, it will kick in. You can have it large if your sticks are drifting. But, I mean, it's your left stick. Normally, the left stick doesn't tend to dry, um, have that issue. It's normally the right stick. So, I'd have it on small. Inverted, you might play with inverted. So, your choice. I have mine off. And then vibration. Highly recommend you have this off. This means as soon as somebody shoots you, you're not going to get that annoying vibration. Um, same as if you're shooting somebody, it will help you because you won't get the annoying vibration whilst trying to focus on shooting. I find that's a really big thing. Um, 
And then the last two things, we've got video. I've got brightness a little bit higher than anything because I can see a little bit brighter. It's nice. We can then also have field of view. I got that 110 because I like to be able to see everything. I don't want to just see a little bit of it so I can see everything. So up to you again. You might prefer it a little bit smaller. Um, field of view ability uh, scaling. I have this enabled. It basically just means if I'm like, say, uh, Wraith and I phase, it might play around with my field of view a little bit. It really doesn't make a big difference. It kind of just makes the ability look cooler. So I have it enabled. You can disable it though if you prefer. And then the last thing as well here is um, sprint view while shaking. Put it on minimal because you don't really want the shaking feeling while sprinting because it will throw you off and make it a little bit more annoying. Audio, I've got volume, max, uh, sound effects, max, dialogue, max. I have music, zero because it kind of annoys me. And then I also have 10% lobby music. So if I'm just sat there chilling, I can whack it on. That is everything. Guys, I hope that helps. Um, smash the like button, comment down below, and please subscribe to Netflix on, and I'll catch you in the next video.